Welcome back to part four of the reaction show episode one. Wow, part four, here we are. All right, girls, you ready? Ready, I'm ready for part four. All right, the video will continue in three, two, one, go. and early to start the rise and shine technique where I found the rise Danielle and shine and technique Frank are both pretty oh. big to say the least the rise and shine technique is to make sure that mornings run smooth and are organized the night before the children need to choose their clothes and the alarms need to be set in the morning the parents need to pre-wake up their children and that is to open up the door ajar and to put the lamp on the children. and then to gently stir the children to let them know it's time to get up. Oh, Once the children oh, wait, have get out of bed. That's the second part. For them to take the responsibility the in making step. sure that they get themselves yep, dressed, the third step. washed, and ready to leave. Well, you Here yourself comes the fourth today. step. Job, I didn't know what to do this morning because Frank actually dressed himself. I had time to like just wake up. For his first attempt, he managed to get himself up, dressed, and had his bag ready to get on that school bus. Rings well up the school. And it was Mum's turn school, to wake up Skylar. And as far as Danielle was concerned, it was like, brace yourself. I'm getting nervous. I don't feel like fighting with her this morning. So what are you going to do then? You better not, Danielle. So she took a great big deep breath, and off she went into Skylar's room. And Skylar did not... Come on, baby, it's time to wake up, okay? Wake up, Skylar. Wake up a couple minutes before your alarm goes off. Put on the blinds, the lamp on. That's it. In the beginning, I was like, Jiminy Crickets, here we go again. I don't even want to begin. So the alarm clock went off, the but alarm. Skylar didn't budge at all. What? Skylar, come on, honey, we have to go to school. No. I want you to put on the clothes that you chose last night. No. Come on. You can do it, Skylar. Okay, put back the... She's her awake. Hair. So she turns around, she's not getting dressed, not brushing her hair. We have to go out of the room for five minutes, then we come back in. Skylar, I'd like to see you get dressed for me, sweetheart, and then I want you to go brush your hair, okay? No. And I know you can do it. I'm not. Well, that's your choice, Skylar. If you want to go to school in your pajamas, that's your choice. I'm not going to school. You can do it, Skylar. Just take your time. Come and give mommy a call at the door when you've got yourself dressed so I can see, okay? Okay, that's good, Danielle. Let's relax. What I want to do is let her understand that you are sticking to your guns, okay? Mum stood her ground, but Skylar was not ready to compromise. Just take your time, Skylar. What are you doing? <laughs> are you sure you? about that? She said she was going to get dressed. Oh, twenty minutes later. Lo and behold, for the first time, Skylar actually got dressed by herself. You look great. Time. You did that all by yourself. She took her time and got dressed and by herself. Well done. Yay. This is the first morning that Danielle has stuck to her guns and meant what she said and followed through. I think just getting her up in the morning without a battle to go to school is success in itself. Hey, Finally. I'm really proud of you. Skylar never initiates any form of conversation, not even to What's the this? point where she'll just say hello and goodbye. Dolls? This little baby here told me that she wants to say hello oh. to this big baby and she Socialization doesn't know how to. So one of the things I did do was to role play with Skylar. Is it hello or goodbye? What is it? That's, that's goodbye. Oh. When you're doing this, that's, that's hello. Oh, yeah. I asked Skylar to do it herself. You should know she this girl. what a hello was and what a goodbye was. What does Bess say? What does Bess say? Hello. Hello. Hi. Right. Yeah, of in. course. What does Bess say? Come in. I think I've made progress in Skylar's understanding Daisy? of how important it they is to say hello. They made a really fun hello. game. 
This next step in the socialisation process is to identify personal space. So, Frank, let's have you in the middle of that orange circle there. All it's right. It's important that Frank and Danielle do not put pressure on their children to be affectionate towards their friends and family on demand. Skylar, come say hello to Sharon, hello. please. Frank, did you say hi too? Say huh? hi. No. Give him a big hug. Aww. I made Frank see what his children see. These circles represent the intimacy that you have with people. When we come into the blue circle, it means that we've already developed what? a common ground of saying hello and goodbye. When we get to this circle, Frank, that means that I've encroached on your space. How comfortable does that feel? <laughs> to, to sit in the center of the circle and to look up and see Joe, I felt a little intimidated. Your children have their own space. They have their own okay. area. And regardless to whether they're family or their friends, they will have their own time in which they feel comfortable to allow that person into their pink circle. Now imagine pink, my favorite that color. you're Skylar and she's this tall. And then she meets an adult and that person comes straight into her space. It's quite intimidating, isn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah, I agree with you. I'm definitely going to be more aware of the kids' personal space. I'll look at it in a different way than I did before. I introduced the feelings chart. Ooh, the feelings Frank is chart. Heard by his parents, so I really want to be able to give him a chance to express himself. If you feel good about something, then I want you to use the happy faces, okay? Mm -hmm. If you feel bad about something or you feel sad. What I want you to do is use the sad faces. I'm feeling happy today. You're feeling happy today. Oh, yeah. I'm going to spend more time with my dad. Yeah, you are. If mum and dad can visually get an idea of what's going on in Frank's head and how he's feeling, they can do something to change that. That's your special chart. These are your special faces. <laughs> this is about how you're oh. feeling. Because that's what's important. Cool. What now? I'm going to leave Danielle and Frank for a couple of days to get on with implementing the techniques. Danielle, Aww. take care of you. Aww. I'm going to miss having Joe there tomorrow because I just feel like I need someone to look at and just say, you know, what do I do next? Support one another through all Your the first, techniques. Right? Oh, there's no doubt they're going to yeah. be tested. And I'm going to be watching them, so let's just see how they get on. Coming up on Super Nanny. See you a couple days, Joe Frost. Skyler gets a wake up call. And Dad fails his homework <laughs> assignment. Shut your mouth and start doing your homework. When Super Nanny returns. Where are we going to stop here? All right. That's it for this part. Wow. So. When, when's part five coming? It's coming soon. So, wait, that's it? That's it? Yep, that's it, Daisy. All right, guys, we'll see you in part five. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.